welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having a great day today and what we're going to be doing today is i'm going to show you how to make your own 5m server um, make it to where you can run it and uh, get it going properly um, so what we need to do is first thing you need to do is you click the link i have provided below it's the one that's 5m.net it's going to bring you to this page here it's the 5m main uh, website you're going to have these two things here download client and download server uh, we're not worried about the client today we're just going to be downloading the server so go ahead and click download server once that downloads i'm going to open it up and extract it to your desktop uh, so we'll go ahead and open this up and we will extract this to our desktop there we go let that do its thing all right close window are out and you're greeted you have this little cfx server folder and this is just the base server. This is just, you know, vanilla, everything, um, you know, vanilla cars and you know, all everything. So if you go resources is where all your mods are, your cars, your scripts, your everything you need to run your server. If you go in here, you have nothing but what it comes with. Um, so like in my server, um, SCSP server, if I go into resources, I have all these things in here as my, you know, all my FBI cars, sheriff cars, police cars, you know, Everything that I use in my servers, you know, all in here. Um, and if you see here, you got nothing but the base. Um, and you can run it like this and it just be, you know, a server you and your friends can go in and just have, you know, script, I mean, um, plugins and mods and all that, just have fun messing around in. Um, but if you want to have a real role play server, of course you want real life cars and all that kind of thing in there. But um, I'll show you how to make, put in cars and everything in a later date. Um, so first thing you want to do is you want to go in here to city, sit MP server dot YML. Um, oh, before we get to that, one thing I highly recommend you having is uh, Notepad++. So I will leave a link for you on where to get Notepad++. Um, Notepad++ is a, I think it's just a lot better when it comes to modding and stuff. Um, so I'll leave a link on where to get it and just download it and use that instead of just your regular Notepad. So once you get Notepad++ installed and everything, go ahead and click on City MP Server YL. And then edit with notepad and then you're going to have this right here close these out you're going to get this and you need to configure the name of this is where you're going to change your name of your server right here because um, whenever your server is up and running you don't want it to say default 5m server um, I and mean, you can change it to uh, anything you want so let's just change this for test test server there we go just name it that um, <clears throat> and then you can just run all your stuff here and you can just run it and be base. But um, one thing, if you want to run like uh, um, script hook V and have all those script hook plugins like Simple Trainer, any trainer that you want to use, go down here to where it says set to true to disable local script hook plugins. And you want this to be false. Because if you have this set to true, then any script hook plugins you have in like Simple Trainer, Native Trainer, all those kind of trainers, they will not work. Because um, this is just disables all the script hook trainers and will not let you use them. So go ahead and if you want to make it to where you can use trainers, you can turn it to false. But if you don't want anybody in your server using trainers, you can just put that to true. And any kind of um, third party trainer other than the enhanced reborn will not work. Uh, so go ahead and click save when you've done everything. And then you can just boom, that's done. Got your name, test server, um, and all this kind of thing. And that's done there. So close that out, save it. All right, so once you've done, um, you've changed your name of your server and done however you want to do with everything right here. Everything else you need um, with this right here is this is just <clears throat> this require players that on your server to be signed into Steam. If you don't want them to be signed into Steam to get on your server, you can just click false on that, and they'll make it to where they can just <clears throat> just play with GTA 5, regardless if they have it on Steam or not. So once that's all done, just go ahead and save it, exit out of it. And to make it to where your server is public and can run on other computers, or not, server can't run, whenever people can play on your server, you must port forward your server. And basically what this is, port forwarding makes it to where other people um, from other, you know, countries, states, towns can um, log on, can see, visually, visually see your server and log on to it and play on it with you. Um, I have an Aeris router, so I'm not sure what got, kind of router you guys have, whether it be Netgear or any other... Um, uh, router, but I have Eris and for me, I'm just going to show you how to port forward with an Eris router um, So what you need to do is it might be the same for other routers I'm not 100% sure on that, but for mine, um, this is how I do it. So 
Just click the window key and R at the same time and then type in CMD for command. Click OK on that. And you'll be greeted with this system32 command window here. Um, and what you want to do is when this comes up, just type in IP config, IP C O N F I G, enter. And you're going to get all this right here. And just go ahead and scroll up to where it says <coughs> uh, Ethernet adapter, Ethernet. And then you're going to see your IP for address and all this kind of thing. Um, so go ahead and see your default gateway, 192.168.01. That's going to be pretty much everyone's there. So go ahead and Go in here and type that in. So we have, uh, I remember what it was. Uh, let's go to Google. Type in 192.168.01. Boom. There's that. It will bring up your router. And then on this one, the username, password, it's uh, you know the same for everyone. And when you log into this, um, pretty much everyone's going to be the same. It's always going to be probably 192.168.01 for air shredders. It's all going to be the same. And what it's going to do, you're going to log in to whatever router is plugged into your computer at the time. Um, so admin. And that. Apply. And it will log into your personal router. Um, let that do its thing. And then to do a port forward. Um, on the air routers, go ahead and click firewall and then you want to go down to virtual servers port forwarding you want to click that and you see I have both uh, I have two servers running on this and um, let's see let's go in here and look for a number here and then you go up here to where it says list import and you can change this to whatever you want it to be um, <clears throat> so let's just say for instance I want it to be three zero um one two five these are one two five i would save that and then that would be my port forward number there so saved it exit out of that and we'll bring back our little thing here and then <clears throat> once you go to firewall port support forwarding click add and then name it whatever you want to say 5m server three and then we have well, 30125 and then to 30125 that's what we typed in for our inbound port and then the IP address will be whatever your IP address was the IP4 address that we saw on the command screen right here that would be your IP4 address um, so 192.8.1 and then there's that and then you would list 30125 and then 30125. You go up to TCP and you want to click both on that. And then you click add virtual server and boom, your server is good. I already have my servers here, so I don't want to make another one. Close that out. And then boom, you're done with that. You can close this out and you're done with that. All right. And that's basically all you need to do with that. Um, so now we have all of our stuff going and everything else. And whenever you want to run your server, you want to click Citizen MP Server, and you would double click that. Um, since I didn't, I didn't port forward it on mine, I'm going to go ahead and just open up just my zombie server here. And you just do click Citizen MP Server, let's double click it. Let that do its thing. And boom, you got your server running right here, and everything's good. So this is the basics on how to get your server working and how to get it up and running. Um, and this will just make it to where your server's base, vanilla, um, no mods or nothing in it, just be normal to where anybody can come in and just mess around with mods and all that kind of thing and just have fun playing online. Um, but yep, I will continue this series and I will show you how to put cars, uh, whitelist your server, I'll show you how to do all kinds of other things in here. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.